Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from your private Serpentarium tonight to bring you an unboxing. What? Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium tonight to bring you a mystery unboxing from Kenny Brown. I received this package at work. I was very excited. This is something that I was expecting. However, I always kind of hold my breath when an animal is being shipped to me because you never know what's going to happen no matter how careful you are. So, whipping out my handy dandy knife that came to me from Dana Savarelli at MidwestTongues.com. So if you are interested is in some awesome knives, I'll make sure to link that below. Okay. Really nice packing. Fitted styrofoam, peanuts. The springtime and the fall are most ideal for shipping in the desert time because the weather is most mild. But on the other hand, it can be difficult because it can be cold at night and hot during the day. You can see that this is an animal named Odie that matured uh, about two months ago. And apparently he laid a sperm web about three weeks ago. I think what I'll do first, I can kind of peek in there and I think he's, he's alive and well. I'm gonna go ahead and really quickly set up his new tank. As you guys know, I like to use shoe boxes for medium sized terrestrial species. And sometimes I do mix that with a little bit of coconut fiber. Now, tarantulas, for the most part, are fairly tolerant of tap water, at least the tap water in the U.S. in most areas. But for frogs and things like that, you want to make sure not to give them tap water because it has quite a bit of chlorine in it. And you can see that this vermiculite on top was wet, but inside, well, that was pretty good. I'm going to do a little bit more water. I'm going to be really careful to always make sure that you have uh, fresh vermiculite wet enough otherwise as i've said so many times it can wick the moisture straight from your animal are you ready to see what kenny brown sent me let's pop this bad boy open and take a look i've kind of taken a peek through the side and he is moving around which you always worry that they've been wounded and killed during shipping but this is the ultimate moment of truth. Uh, and sometimes they do run out totally berserk when you do uncover them. I don't know what you can see, but a really nice packing for one. Kenny did a beautiful job. I don't recall if he was one of the people that asked me how to pack. But um, if this was your first time or, or one of your first times packing, beautiful work. And if you're a seasoned packer, it shows. Here he comes, long spindly leg male. And you can see he has the royal blue legs, the teal carapace, and the golden abdomen, which makes this a beautiful mature male, Chromatopelma sinopubescens also known as the green bottle blue. And so uh, this guy, um, also uh, an important key factor is padding, moist padding when you are shipping a tarantula because number one, they can obviously be wounded during shipping. You want a lot of good padding. And if it's totally dry, they can dehydrate really quickly. And so amazing work, Kenny. Beautiful packing and your boy has arrived safe and sound. I hope you liked meeting Kenny's beautiful Chromatopelma sinopubescens, also known as the Green Bottle Blue. 
Also, for those of you who are watching and interested in getting involved in a breeding project, I also still need some other males. I need a male Heteroscodra maculata, Stromatopelma calciatum, Pulselotheria metallica, Pulselotheria fasciata, a Costa Rican tiger rump, and a cobalt blue also, which I think was Haplopelma lividum or Seriopagopus now lividum. And the tiger rump is, used to be Cyclosternum fasciatum, and now is known as Davis fasciatus. Let me know what species you would like to see me breed next, and keep your eyes out for some breeding videos, because Odie and my ladies are gonna get down. See you guys soon.